Okay, you never know what you are gonna find when you look out the window at Juno Acres. I'm not sure what he's doing in there. In Poppy and Millie's pen. <laughs> it's two in the afternoon. Uh, I don't know what that possum is doing. Millie was worried, but apparently she gave up. He's just cruising along. I, I hear you, Percy Jacob. What? What do you want? I'm watching the possum. get out of there he probably came in where the gate is but that fence is mesh fencing little trying or little uh, rectangle square so I don't know how he's gonna get out maybe he dug under to get in to begin with I don't know is going on while I'm out here. Mimu's been getting his steps in. Looks like Joy, uh, Joy wants to eat the top of the hay bale. You never know what you're going to see when you look out the window. Percy JJ, you better stay away from that possum. He's just cruising the fence line. <sighs> I hope he goes on to the woods somehow that way and not come up here at the yard. I don't want him to come in here and then go after the chickens. We'll have to do something about that. The other guard dogs of Juno Acres spotted him. Like, what in the world is going on? Okay, he found his way out of Poppy and Millie's pen. He went over by the gate. Took him a while to figure it out. Millie came over to see him off on his little trip. Hopefully he keeps on going. Uh, where'd he go? There he goes. We can go on to the property behind us, which is 80 acres. Live his best life. As long as he doesn't come pester our chickens. Oh, oh Millie went back to the hay. Good job, Millie. Good job. Keeping an eye on him. If we see him again, we'll probably have to relocate him. Don't want him to hurt the chickens. So Flint's stuck on a work call right now and couldn't help me. And I wasn't about to go out and wrangle a possum by myself. Whew, it's a yucky day. It's drizzling and cold. I'm going to pick up Bubba, but I thought this was so cute. Annie. Queen of the mountain, up on the poop piles, eating old hay, goobers, and they have perfectly good hay there in the ring. I can't have anything nice around here. I know. Are you ranching in PJs? I am. You have not got out of your PJs. 
I have not. It's been a busy day. And by the time it's getting dark outside, I might as well stay in them. Yeah. Good plan. Can you hold this while I uh, pour the pig food in? You like my new boots? Oh, I like your new boots. What are they? I already got them muddy. They're high C. Uh huh. Boots. Okay. Or rubber boots. I don't really know. I didn't wear my new boots. My steel toed. Hi. High C. Everybody's wet. Wet. It is nasty out. Boy, that piggy is big. Leave those girls alone. They're perfect. Perfect little pig. Okay. Keep. This is where it gets tricky. Yeah, they try to push out. Look out, girls. Go, go, go. Stay back. Stay back. Stay back. Oh my goodness. Penny, back up. Where to get the food in the trough? I gotta do something different. Well, they both kind of stand in the trough so no one else can get in there. They're pretty smart like that. Well, I think their little necks are so short. They can't reach it unless they're in it. I don't know what to do. They look like pigs eating. They are pigs. They're doing what they're supposed to do. They end up wearing half of it, though. What do you think they weigh? I don't know. We should get the scale out and weigh them. I think they put on more than a pound a day. Not today, though. I don't want to hold them when they're wet. What do you think? Probably. Oh, goodness. Hi, me. Poppy. Let me go in and check. Uh... Mama was talking trash on you. His food is dry. You did a great job on his feeder. Of course I did. Wet. I'm handsy. Oh, hi. Oh. Nice. You want a cube to feed him out of sure. your mouth? Mm, no. Come on, Cindy Boozle. Uh, they got straw. They must not like to lay. Well, hi. Them. I didn't know if emus went out in the rain. Oh, yeah. They love to swim. What? They don't mind rain. They'll play in the water. They'll play in a hose. They'll swim. So, what do you think? Should we go and uh, get Hope, our third sheep? I don't know. Let's talk about it. So we have faith, hope, and joy. For a discount. Uh, your camels need water. Oh. Since, uh... Oh, they drink a lot. That blue tub is full, isn't it? Yeah. I know, it's nice. So, these... This tub is junk. We bought it from a guy that has a... Ranch. Ranch supply store. New, new and used stuff. It, he it made was a, a huge tub. He in said, "Perfect condition." Yeah, he said, "No leaks." I think we bought what three tubs? Two of the three tubs so far leak. That he said didn't leak. They're in perfect condition. I do not recommend that store. If you live near Bristow and you message me, I'll tell you which store it is. But anyways, I guess we should have threw some water in it at the store and made sure. But. So, our tanks are leaking. Fun times. Camels go through a lot of water, so that's really a tank that needs to not have a hole in it. <sighs> For now, Flint is going to keep water in the little blue tub for the next few days till we can try to dry the other one out once all this rain moves on and he will try to patch it. <sighs> so all is not completely lost. Flint is a fixer of all things. Are you filming me? Yeah. 
talking about how you can fix anything and you're going to try to fix the tank. Oh, I will fix that the, the shyster tank. guy sold us. Because it's a nice big tank. We like the size of it. But not with a hole. I like big tanks and I cannot lie. <laughs> oh, Nemo. Hi, you are a drowned rat. Yes. You're a good boy. Hi, sweet girl. Hi, sweet girl. Come in. Good girl. Okay, let's go see what all got chewed up.